Okay, day and act section. Seems like you guys, when you're doing your video, you kind of lost focus of what you were trying to teach when you did that video. It looked like you were trying to emphasize a little bit more on what the axe did versus how the basic combat person should deal with the axe. Um, also, the hook uh, twist, when you spin one off, that's a total gymism. It's not a VNA lesson, it's not a UK lesson. That's just something that I've done for 15 years. It works really well for me. It's not anything, it just it just works, okay? So when, I'm, when I attack Mike, obviously I'm gonna stay outside the, the, the 90 degree angles of his face, between his collarbones to the center of the boss. I'm gonna attack on the outward section. I'm gonna come in at a, at a hard angle here. This is the nuclear weapon of the age. We need to treat it as such. So Mike cannot rely on a lazy block. He must push out away from the body and really try and block that as far away, just in case there is some sort of failure in the axe or in the shield. So again, attacking on attack, normally uh, this would be three, coming in on the right angle. See how he pushes well away from his body? And he's, you know, if, if anything were to fail, he has all this distance of his arm length to recover, push it out of the way, do whatever he has to do. And part of it, this also goes into slightly into the display, is he should react to the, the axe as if it were a nuclear weapon, and he should not only but he should recover from it. Okay. Going to the other side. Again, weapon's foot is forward, side I'm attacking. See how he blocks so far away from his body? He has a lot of time to recover if there were a catastrophic failure in the shield or in the, we in the weapon. Same thing with the legs. Now we're going to attack in on the leg. He gets it well out there, meets it away from his body, gives himself plenty of time to react if there is a problem. Okay. Um, I think that's it on the axe. So.